Alright, so what you want to do is get a character for us before we actually start the dialogue. So I'm just going to get this cube. And now what you want to do is get some text. So we're going to go here to the block that says A. You go here. Make some text. Let's say, uh, hi, how's it going? Okay, so now we have, uh, these three. It can be how, uh, however much. It's, it may be a little bit difficult the more text you have. But for now, we'll just do three. So what you want to do is give these all separate groups. So one two and three go to the layers section and give them all different layers so this one's gonna be one this one's gonna be two you can also press the, the plus button to make it easier so you don't have to go like through here and stuff so you just it gives you a new basically like groups so this gives you a new layer and just stack all of them on top of each other like this now get an alpha trigger go here go to your first group for the first thing of text whatever group it is for me it's one and then make it zero and make all the text groups zero. So for me, I only have three. So now look. So look, they're all zero. You can't see them. They're basically all invisible. So now what we're going to do is get one alpha trigger, do this. Uh, I'm just going to put it at like 0.7 and then make it her invisible. So this, that's going to work right there. How's it going? Go really fast. So it'll be 0.2 back. So it goes like that. And then I go boop and okay. So now we're gonna make, just copy and paste this for how many times you have a text. So I have three texts, so we're gonna copy and paste this three times. Play it, it should do all the text, how they going, like GD, right, tidal wave. And then it goes out at the end, make sure it goes out. It's really important, there we go. Give these all different groups, so the first one's group before. These two are gonna be uh, the same group. So these two, and so is the last one gonna be a different group. Group seven. Get a sequence trigger just put all the groups that you just did so this one is uh four and then the last one is seven one make it a loop and then make it spawn trigger and multiply activated and do four five six seven so now you have this go to the triggers category and get one of these triggers make it really big claim touch and then activate and then make the sequence trigger a different group so from now it's eight Go here, make activate eight, and now go up here, make all of these a spawn trigger and multiply act multi activated. Now, if you go here, click how's it going? I like GD, right title wave. So that's pretty cool. We had the whole thing done, right? But what if you want to spice it up a little bit? So, what you want to do is if you want like a little thing, so when you're close to it, there's like a little circle that pops up, fades in, and stuff. But most uh, NPCs have that. Now get another alpha trigger and then make that zero. Don't know why I put 15 there, but it's fine. So now that we have this, as you can see, it's not there. Now we're gonna make a few more alpha triggers. We're gonna go here, nine. We're gonna fade in. Make we'll also make these spawn triggered. It's gonna fade in and then just like that, it's gonna fade out. So as you can see, it's not gonna work because it's spawn triggered. So what you wanna do is make these different groups so this one's gonna be 10 this one's gonna be 11 oh 11 and now go back to the triggers category and go this state trigger make the first one well the first one so 10 and 11 so the top one should be this group and the bottom one should be this group so now if you go up to this dude you go here a little thing pops up against his head right a little thing pops up over his head, and if you interact with him, it stays there. So to get rid of that, it's actually pretty simple. You just copy and paste the last one, or the off one, and you just give these the same group. And then it turns off as soon as you interact with them. So it's there, it's not there, and you interact, it goes back. So now we have a pretty good working dialogue system. And yeah, it's actually pretty good to use. Uh, also, if you want to make like different like sounds for the... So you, all you gotta do really is go um, get a sound effect. Let's get a random trigger. Sure, we can use this one. Uh, let's just go here, spawn, multiple trigger. If we go, we gotta go here. Just make this um, the same group. So this is like, do this, make this group four. Go here and make this group five. And yeah, just do it for the whole uh, thing that you have. And then this is going to be seven. And then yeah, it works. Actually, don't do anything for the last one because that's when it fades out. So you just have this now. And then it fades out. So that's pretty much the whole thing. Also, if you don't want to make it like really messy and want to have more stuff, you can basically just put it 
all in the same thing. Like, you can just do this. Put that right there. Put this on top. These don't really have to be, like, in order. So you can just do this. And boom, it still works. So yeah, that's the tutorial. Hope you guys liked this. If you did find it helpful, like and subscribe. Uh, yeah. Bye.